Good day and welcome back to another Honkai Star Rail video. In this video we are going to be basically taking a look at whether or how I did Simulated Universe World 1. So might take a look at this again with different types of builds, different types of teams, but I thought it would be really cool to take a first look at Simulated World 1 and just kind of see obviously how things went. Now if you don't know what Simulated World is, it is something you will progressively unlock and it's basically a rogue light tower slash fight series. Uh, if you've ever played uh, pretty much anything like Hades, uh, Risk of Rain, any of those type of roguelike games, uh, you know what the system is about. Essentially, every time you win, uh, you will choose a new power, and if you choose those powers well, compared to your team, you will be able to essentially bring everything together and have a high level of success. Now, taking a look at all of these, and taking a look at all of these, you know, different types of builds and things, uh, I thought it'd be cool to do a series whereby I complete these different worlds, for the you know, simulated universe and just kind of run through what was going through my mind when I was doing the build uh, and basically why I thought the build would work. So in this build, I kind of wanted to build around the aspect of freezing. Uh, and there were a couple freezing based buffs that I wanted to really go for. I didn't really want to kind of go for shield based abilities. Although in hindsight, I should have adjusted my team to better manifest a freezing debuff because the thing is is I went for a whole bunch of kind of abilities uh, to obviously you know improve how my team did uh, but the big thing or the big mistake I made was the fact that I went uh, and did these uh, abilities entirely based on the fact that I took an ability uh, that would proc freeze at like two percent on my attacks so realistically, I should have adjusted my team uh, to better have freezing debuffs so that when I broke characters or even just ran ultimates, I could freeze them. Also, the final boss fight honestly wasn't a great situation for this build because it was just very difficult to get any freezing stacks onto the boss. Now, as you'll see, uh, I constantly chose like freeze related abilities, but Again, because I was relying on such a low percentage chance, these actually didn't pay off. But the actual abilities were good. I would just say you could change your team and then you'll have a bit of a better time. So let's quickly run through all of the abilities I chose. Uh, for example, I chose apply disassociation on the enemies. Disassociation is a debuff that would cause quite sizable damage uh, after an enemy was hit with the status change. When I got to the downloader here, I should have adjusted my team, but I never did. And this was the big flaw in kind of how I built my team. Midway through, or a third of the way through, you'll have the ability to upgrade your abilities. Well, it's a great sentence there, but you'll have the possibility to upgrade your abilities using the currency you've earned during the simulated universe run. Now, of course, uh, I upgraded all of my freezing abilities at this point as well, you should also consider upgrading your abilities, generally speaking. The next one we took was damage taken by frozen enemies increases. This was obvious considering the fact that we are going the freeze type build. The next one we took, again, was also the damage taken by frozen enemies increase once again, wanting to just keep the build going. The next one we took was enemies with disassociation take increased damage as we know that we proc disassociation on all of our moves. So then we came across a couple more ways of upgrading our team. Uh, we chose to pick up a new ability uh, instead of picking up more currency. I was hoping at this point to pick up another ability to kind of proc frozen to occur uh, as I was starting to realize that we weren't really procking it enough to get all of our association benefits. So I went for a random blessing and was unable really to kind of get something I wanted. I did end up picking the shield. Uh, honestly, it was irrelevant at this point. Needed something that would proc the freeze chance because it was far more important in determining how well we did overall. 
Of course, we then continued through the way, uh, which was pretty evident, came across Hershia for the second time before entering the boss area, and we finished upgrading all of our abilities here. Honestly, it just wasn't enough, and at this point I should have again changed my team, but as you can kind of tell by now, uh, I was just going with the flow and trying to just see how everything came together. But yes, we ended up taking on the final boss, uh, and realistically, honestly, I'll go into more details about this fight, but I just want to talk about the build up to here. You get quite a few chances to build on what you get, but I feel like there's not a lot of chances to change anything. So just be very careful with how you pick these abilities, because you have very minimal chance to alter your build. If we're not going to build on the, you know, the abilities you've chosen, you can plateau quite evidently in the simulated universe. Now the big issue was the final fight. Procking freeze on the bosses was incredibly difficult because one, breaking them was very hard. Uh, only one of them was ice breakable. And secondly, we had no way outside of that barring our 2% proc on attacks to get the freeze. And this was very low. Now when the freeze finally did proc, it did a huge burst of damage dealing 1,253, which actually earned me an achievement. But honestly, it was a terrible build. I should have adjusted my team and given myself far more freezing units to kind of deal with administering the debuff to the opposition. But we got it done, uh, a lot more difficult than I would have liked, but I think you could make it a lot easier proceeding with this build. Now that's kind of it for the video. I wanted to do this kind of video uh, again for each of the worlds, but maybe I'll also redo some of the worlds with alternative builds uh, as we kind of progress in the future. But that's it for me. Hope you enjoyed the video. Bye.